what's good, Mims and Memphis, man. Um, I probably put this on one of my other channels too, but this is my main channel. And I, I, I done told this story before. Um, I always tell you how to learn from everything and everybody, man. And um, I always talk about ants a lot. <clears throat> But the reason why I talk about ants so much, like actual ants, the reason why I talk about ants so much is because I think when I was about like 11 to 12 years old, um, I went on a field trip somewhere. I think I went to Charlestown Landing or some one of those historical places, man. And um, I seen a red ant and a black ant. They was um, they was they was fighting. I don't know if they was fighting over territory or not, but it was big. It had to be like the queen ants, cause they was they was huge. They was ants, but they was way bigger than the normal ants. I right, let me get back to the story. Um, ants basically taught me about humanity, because the black ant and the red ant they was going back and forth. One day, the the red ant pushed the black ant back, and then the black ant pushed the red ant back. And this is the first time I'm, I'm I saw ants fight. They use their antennas. Anyways, that's crazy. But um, me and my classmates, we were so intrigued by these ants fighting. And I'm a huge wrestling fan. I'm a huge wrestling fan. And so we was eating some popsicles while we was watching the ants fight on a, on a um, picnic table in one of these historical parks. And just by all of us being wrestling fans, we used our popsicle sticks to cage the ants in. Like, we, we tried to make, like, a real ring, like, box them in, like a boxing ring. And when the ants realized that, when the black ant and the red ant realized that they were being boxed in by human beings, they immediately quit fighting, and they, and they, and they, and they, and they, and they both took off. Like, they immediately quit fighting. They refused to be confined by the society that we put around them. And, um, I didn't see the lesson when I was little. I was just too young to understand the lesson that God was trying to reveal to me. Two ants, once, once enemies, they joined together because they realized that humans was trying to cage them in. So, I guess the message that I got from that is, if ants can come together in, in any times of adversity and any times of pain, and supposedly we're supposed to be blessed with more knowledge and more sense than animals and insects and stuff like that. We're supposed to be superior over them. I feel like as human beings, it should it should be easier. Easier it, it should be easier for us to come together, rather. If two ants can come together. Um every and every time when I get discouraged for some reason, I always think back to that story. Going to the going to the picnic table, trying to eat my food, seeing two ants fighting. Trying to cage them in, and they're like, "Fuck that, we gonna." They like forget that, we gonna just forget this. We gonna forget this and do, cause they go, they gonna cage us in. Um, sometimes when you get so, so when you get so so distracted by the worldly things, um, as human beings, we can lose we can lose focus. Um, we we can lose focus of us of us being caged in by society. Um, those ants didn't lose focus. They was beefing hard. Like before we before we trapped them in, they was going back and forth. Like they was pushing each other. I ain't never seen no ants do nothing like that. But as soon as an outside force came in and tried to cage them in, they immediately forgot about that. You know, and um, that's why I learned as a human being from ants, man. Um, I don't think my classmates thought that deep into it. I don't think my classmates. They probably don't even remember this. If I brought it up, they probably won't even remember this story. But God, God wanted me to see that for a reason. And um, yeah, man, if those if those ants could come together, we as human beings can do the same thing. I was I was, I was reading this book, man. I was reading this book. Um, man, where is it? But it says, if there's a cause to hate somebody. The cause to love somebody has just begun. If there's a cause to hate somebody, the cause to love has just begun. You know what I'm saying? Um, that just that just that just one of the stories, man. As human beings, man, we waste time on frivolous, on frivolous disagreements, and just, then life just passes you by, man. Um, whatever you're going through in life, brush yourself off. Keep going. If those ants can come together, we as people can come together. 
I hope y'all took something out of my story. Um, this was like I said, this was a long time ago. This this was at least twenty something odd years ago when I seen this. But every time when I go back into my med into my meditation, those two ants always come into my head. Like I said, maybe I just take stuff too far. Um, maybe I'm too philosophical. I've been told that my whole life. Maybe I, I look too deep into things. But I hope hopefully y'all took something away from the two ants. I, I guess I call that story the ant story, man. Um, yeah, man. And, and, and basically, I want y'all to take unity from this video. And I want y'all to take... Um, that's the main thing I want y'all to take from this. Learning from everything and everybody and unity. That, that, that's the... The gist of what I want y'all to take from this message, man. Unity and learning from everything and everybody. Even if it's two ants. Even if it's two ants. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I pray the audio comes out well. I pray that this video reaches you in good spirits. If it doesn't reach you in good spirits, hopefully when you see it, it'll uplift your spirit. Lord Jordan the Mount, signing out. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Um, tell me what y'all think down below, man. Tell me what y'all think down below. But um, that's what's going on, man. I love y'all. Most importantly, I want y'all to love y'all selves. I probably post it, make some, make a few more videos. I'll post this one as soon as I can. Y'all write down the conversation below. Y'all inputs on this, on this story. If y'all don't have a clue on what I'm talking about, let me know that too, man. Like, man, I don't know what you talking about. Like, you done went too far. Just let me know in the conversation down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications, man. I love y'all.